Hello, everyone. I, I hope you have all been able to join us today. It's a, it's a very exciting day for me personally. So I hope everybody is up and, and upbeat about the, the line of activities we have planned for you. Uh, I am very even happier that today presents an opportunity to engage African audiences differently. Uh, it shows the ways in which the African society of Cambridge University is evolving and also adapting to, to the new environment of, of holding conversations and also engaging various audiences, whether it's policy audiences, whether it's private sector, and then we can all do this. It's my pleasure today. My name is Oliver Mausi Bakavomawa. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Cambridge, and I'll be your moderator for today's conversations, most of it anyway. Uh, it's my pleasure now to invite the co-president of the African Society of Cambridge University to give us her opening remarks. Good day, everyone. My name is Cynthia Okoye, and I am co-president of the African Society of Cambridge University. On behalf of the conference planning team, I am pleased to welcome you to the 2021 Africa Together Conference. Africa Together is the annual flagship conference organized by the African Society of Cambridge University. The first conference was held in May 2014 to commemorate Africa Day which falls on May 25th every year. Since then, the conference has continued as an annual tradition and we are delighted to be holding the seventh edition this weekend. Africa Together provides a platform for critical discourse on contemporary issues impacting the African continent. The conference brings together development drivers who are thought leaders across sectors and have distinguished themselves as change makers, intent on ensuring that the potential of the African continent is realized. This year, the conference is focusing on the strides of change that our continent has taken towards the path of sustainable development. This is a deviation from the typical banner talk of Africa and its problems. Are we saying that Talking about problems and gaps for change is irrelevant, certainly not. From the COVID-19 pandemic to political unrest, the past year alone has been a very challenging season for the continent. However, despite the challenges in historic and present times, great strides of positive change have been attained on the continent and focusing our narratives on the problems have allowed many of the strides to go unnoticed or underappreciated. We believe that it is imperative to understand what we have done right or are doing right in order to double down on them or use their frameworks to chart new pathways. We shall unpack these stories of resilience, innovation and successes and weigh them in the context of current trajectory. There will be panel discussions ranging from the arts to business to our cities to leadership, etc. This two-day journey will educate us, inspire us and most importantly, it will nudge us to a positive discomfort that will lead us all to clean our paths in the sustainable development of Africa. We are proud to be hosting this year's conference jointly with the Cambridge Africa Business Network, the first in the history of the conference. This year indeed marks many first for us. This is also our first time holding the conference virtually. Although by now many of us are zoomed out and cannot wait to return to normal, so to speak, we also cannot miss the fact that this digital format allows for a broader reach as it enables access for people who may not be able to travel to Cambridge to participate in the physical conference. Indeed, this weekend we have a wide audience joining in from so many corners of the globe. While searching for a virtual platform to hold the conference, we bore in mind that besides the opportunity to learn from experts and leaders, another major appeal of the conference is the opportunity for networking. Therefore, we elected to hold the conference on a dynamic platform that allows for ample networking. And we hope that you will find the AirMeet platform easy to navigate and you will maximally utilize the networking opportunities that we have to offer. 
During the breaks and networking sessions, you can meet people one-on-one -on -one with the speed networking feature. You can also meet people in groups by joining the virtual tables on the lounge that will allow up to four or six people to engage per table. Before we kick off, I would like to briefly thank those who make this event possible. First of all, we are thankful to our speakers who honored our invitation to join us and share with us this weekend. We are also thankful for the steadfast support from the University of Cambridge and the Cambridge Colleges, Cambridge Africa, Penumbra Space Foundation, Menelik Foundation, our outreach partners and all our volunteers, supporters and champions. Once again, I thank you all for joining us this weekend and I sincerely hope that you enjoy this time of dialogue and networking. Thank you for your participation. And I now hand back to Oliver to continue with the rest of the program. Thank you for, for that, uh, Cynthia. I appreciate the, the words and the reflection on the place of the conference, how it has evolved over the years. But also I see that there's, there are a number of people and our sponsors who are continuously stood by the society and in helping this make make this a reality one of the funny things i, I realized from your speech or when you're talking was talking about being zoomed out and i suppose i suppose it's refreshing for a lot of people in the audience that what we have today is not zoom we are on air meet so that gives a bit of a change for for a start uh in in connection with the support you continue to receive one person in particular has always been very involved in africa together conference is the vice chancellor of the university of cambridge who has continued to lend his support to what we are doing and also the need for Cambridge University to engage the continent. So it is my pleasure now to invite Mr. Stephen Tope, who is Vice Chancellor of the University of Cambridge, to give us his address. Hello, I'm Stephen Toop, Vice Chancellor of the University of Cambridge. Welcome to the seventh edition of the Africa Together Conference. I'm very grateful to the organizers of this year's event for inviting me to share some words of welcome, even if, like so many other things, I have to do it remotely. The pandemic has had a profound effect on every aspect of our lives, how we study and work, how we socialize, how we communicate. No matter where we are in the world, whether in Cambridge, Kampala, or Cape Town, the past 15 months have tested us. They've tested our communities, our health systems, and our governments. They've tested our resolve, our resourcefulness, and our resilience. But we're beginning to see cracks of light in what has been a rather dark picture. And we're all daring to hope for a brighter future. I was delighted to see the organizers of this year's conference have quite deliberately chosen to dwell not on the difficulties faced by African countries at the moment, but on the opportunities for positive change. It's one of the conference's aspirations to re-engage with the African narrative. The stories we tell ourselves about ourselves matter deeply, which is why the great late Chinua Achebe said, it is the storyteller who makes us what we are, who creates history. He also said, if you don't like someone else's story, you write your own. Today, you and all your guest speakers are gathering to write your own stories. The stories you tell about yourselves as individuals, but also the stories you tell about your communities, the stories you tell about your countries, the stories you tell about your continent. From the world of politics to the world of music and activism, from the sphere of finance, to the stand-up stage. The voices you will be hearing today are a reminder of the astonishing range of talent driving change in Africa. The talent rewriting and re-engaging with the African narrative. It fills me with immense pride and optimism for the future to know that it is wonderful Cambridge students convening and hosting such talent. I congratulate the African Society of the University of Cambridge and I thank everyone else joining us today, wherever in the world you are. I wish you all a stimulating and entertaining conference. 
one that inspires new stories. Thank you, Stephen, for, for those very reflective words and about the role of the African society in shifting the conversations through historical retelling of different stories and different ways in which we engage with each other. Uh, it is my pleasure to invite somebody who is essentially a storyteller and he's told his story through music and now he's telling that story differently and engaging a lot of African audiences, young people in particular, to rethink the way in which we engage with our state and to rethink the ways in which we can be part of the conversations in improving the destiny of the continent. I'm sure you're all, you're all looking forward to, to hearing from him. And so we'll be taking a, a few minutes, a, a two minute break, and then we'll be addressed by Mr. Bobby Wine or His Excellency uh, Bobby Wine. Thank you. <laughs> 